Okay, so in the last two videos, I've shown you how to add, to pull in functionality from another repository into your own and using repo palms to define that that should happen. And then I've shown you how to remove stuff from repo palms and remove that package. So now I want to show you how to push functionality from your repository into another repository. And the sort of situation when you'd want to do this is if there's, say, mass, for example, you want to add functionality to mass that uh, happens at a particular time. This would be a way of uh, getting your custom functionality into that without mass having to know about it. And so um, just think of it like a plugin, basically. All right, so um, if we go manage, actual, and then we go repo list, and you're going to see we have a fairly clean setup. We've got um, actual sitting up there. We're not going to touch that. We've got done it here, and you notice that it doesn't have uh, anything other than itself at the moment. We've got kev test here, and you notice that it doesn't have anything other than itself there. That's fine. So what we're now going to do is we're going to say done it, we are now going to go and push that into KevTest. Alright, so this is uh, a little bit more fiddly than the other tutorials I've done because this is still, this is still using all the old methodologies and stuff. So uh, let's do it. Manage actual. Okay, so repo palm set. So we're going to go manage actual repo palm set and we're going to have a look at the help there. Now let's go and list out the, uh, what would we like? We would like the done it here. So let's just quickly hop into here for a sec. Um, so we go manage actual repo list. And we're just going to compare these couple of things here. So done it and kev test, remembering we're taking done it functionality and pushing it to kev test. Therefore, we need to create a kev test profile in done it, and then that is not going to define an exec name. That is the job of kev test to figure out how to do that. But we do need to set a name and a description, so let's go and do that now. So repo palm set, uh, manage actual repo palm set. Okay, here we go. I had a typo there, so I've just corrected that. Uh, so our repository is done it. Our profile name is kevtest2345. Our parameter name, now let's have a quick look. So we've set, uh, we've got the repo, we've got the profile, our parameter name, let's go to name, and that's going to be kevtest2345. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at that now, and we go manage actual repo list, and we're just going to go done it just to keep things simple. And you'll notice here that we now have this new profile. Uh, but we don't have a description yet. Uh, so let's go and add a description. A description. And blah. Whoops, have that. Blah, blah, blah. Fine. Uh, I'll likely remove this requirement in the future. Um, the description isn't so important when uh, you're sending something off to another repository. I'm not sure I really want to endorse that behavior though, but that's what we've got in the video for now. Fine. <laughs> okay, so we have set these two values. Now we need to go and define some packages. So now we go over to that manage actual and we want to repo palm to find packages. Okay, so this is where it gets a little more interesting because so what we want to do, we're still talking about the Dunnet repository, and but the source repo is where it's going to be different. So we're going to say so the repo name needs to be Dunnet. 
the profile name needs to be Kev Test two three four five. So let's just quickly sync that up. So you can see here we're in done it. We're in the profile test two three four five. Okay, and now this is where we can't we can't use either of these two because um, self will say, well, hey, it's done it, so therefore it's pointing to the done it one base will uh, say, well, hey, it's actual, so that's that's there. We actually need to specify that the source. Ah, uh, could you? I'm wrong. I think I can put this in. So now let's go back over here and list it again. That's going to work. So that's an easy way of doing it. I'll update the documentation for that. Um, that's a good way of doing it. Okay, so um, we'll see though. So we've added this to Kev Test 2345. If we go over here and we go and run the thing and we go and ask for the functionality and it's still not going to work. The reason for that is because we now need to, the, we've defined the repo palms, but we haven't actually gone and applied them. So once we get, here we go, manage actual, and we go repo reinstall, and we go kev test, no we don't, we go done it. Why? Because we have applied these changes to the done it repository, uh, because this is pushing the functionality. So, um, none of the definition changes have happened in KevTest, so therefore it's a done it repository that we need to reinstall. Now there's a little quirk um, that we need to take into account here because so we've just told it that well hey we want to go and enable, you can see it's just done it here, it's enabled done it into KevTest 2345. But notice that it hasn't done any of the setup stuff for KevTest 2345 which may actually be valid and the reason why it hasn't done that is because we haven't provided an exact name and we shouldn't provide an exact name. So this will be fixed in the not too distant future, but for now we can get around it by, by running the Kev test thing exactly once. It uh, doesn't matter if you run it more times, but uh, I don't want any voodoo to be creeping in. So we just say repo reinstall Kev test 2345 and it's not going to add any extra functionality however it is going to run uh, this reinstall stuff and if we now go and have a look here we can run it and you can see now that works that was a lot of information um, I hope it makes sense please ask questions and I will do my best to answer them